Hello guys, you're welcome to Vince Tech Class. And uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through topic modeling and clustering on uh, Israel and uh, Palestine conflict. And when we say topic modeling, topic modeling is a natural language processing technique that automatically identifies and uh, extract hidden themes or topics uh, from a collection of text uh, documents. So we start by importing our required libraries. These are our required libraries. Next, we load our data sets. So this is the location of my data sets. Next, we, we create a vectorizer to convert text data into numerical vectors. Uh, next, we perform latent discrete allocation for topic modeling and we set our number of topics uh, to be five, but you can adjust this number of topics as needed. When we say uh, latent dis discrete uh, allocation, uh, it's just a probab uh, probabilistic model using natural language processing and machine learning, which uh, allows document to be represented as a mixture of topics, where each topic is a probability distribution over words and uh, document are assumed to be created from these uh, topics and also word uh, distribution and by extension it provides insights into the underlying uh, thematic structure of a collection of uh, documents so next we uh, next we print the top words for each topic and uh, if you can observe from the output we have about um, five topics and from these five topics, we can extract and generate um, useful uh, information or topics from the topics mentioned above. Like, for example, in topic one, we have Israel, Hamas, Palestine, people, Gaza, and so on. So these are the topics I generated from topic one. For example, uh, we have uh, Israel, Palestine, Palestinian, and Israel. Uh, this indicates the involvement of both parties in the conflict. That is uh, highlighting the conflict uh, bilateral nature. We also have Hamas. Hamas is a Palestinian uh, organization, and its uh, inclusion in the topic implies its significant role in the conflict. We also have Gaza and Palestine. That is specific location associated with the conflict, indicating a geographical focus, possibly on the Gaza Strip and other broader. Palestinian territories. We also have uh, support rights implies discussion about international support for either party and debate concerning the rights of Palestinians and Israelis. This would uh, encompass discussion on human rights, self determination, and statehood. So these are the topics uh, that we are generated, the insights or useful information that we are generated from the topics. Next, we assign topics on the original data frame and perform k-means clustering on the LDA topic distribution. And we set our number of clusters to be three. You can also adjust this number of clusters as needed. Uh, next, we print the number of tweets in each cluster. We have one, this is the value. We have zero, this is the value. We have two, this is the value. Next, we visualize the clusters. So this is the visual representation uh, representation of the clusters. That is cluster zero, one, and two. This is the representation of the whole clusters. I remember when I say cluster, cluster is just uh, or clustering is uh, a machine learning technique that uh, groups similar data points together in order to uh, um, discover underlying patterns and relationship within a data set, uh, thereby making it easier to analyze and uh, understand complex data structure. It's just a, a, more, a little explanation on clusters. You can make also make more research on this to gain more insight about this project. Uh, so guys, that is all for uh, today's tutorial. If you have any question, Leave them in the comment section below and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.